Can you believe that we are about to make an epoxy-free tumbler? Can you believe that? No epoxy. We're going to be using Hyperion, which is a water-based product. You do not need to wear any PPE, and you can do this indoor. It is incredible. I can't wait to show you guys what this is going to look like and what the process is like. So hopefully you're able to make this at home and give the product a try. I know some people live in apartments and they don't have a garage where they can epoxy and they don't want to expose their family to the harm, harmful fumes. And so I think it's wonderful to have an alternative that you can use that is not harmful to your health. I personally really like this product and I didn't think that I was because I'm a very impatient person and the thought of having to do so many coats was scary to me. However, it dries in just two hours. So if you set an alarm for yourself and you reapply the, the Hyperion every two hours, it's really not so bad. And you don't have to put your mask on, mix part A with part B, and then pop the bubbles afterwards. You don't have to do any of that stuff. All you do is shake the bottle, put it in a little medicine cup, and you're good to go. It takes probably less than two minutes to apply each coat every time you do it. So I have been doing this in between doing dishes, in between packing for my trip, in between doing laundry, just a million things. And it was pretty easy to stop and do it because it was it's a two minute process so I'm I'm a fan I really like it and I did you know anyway this is just my honest opinion so obviously you guys can see that we are going to do a V split tumbler um, this is of course the original design of the beautiful Flynn sisters boutique with her um, beautiful design that she made man I can't even remember when she made it um, she made that I don't know, two years ago, a year ago, but um, so we're inspired by that, by her original design, and I decided to use some of this printable vinyl with Zaddy on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> of course, you guys know I love Benito. I love him so much. Wepa, que la que hay, coño, love him so much. So. I will, of course, link where I got this vinyl, even though at the moment I can't remember, but by the time it's time to post this video, I swear I will have found where I got it and it will be linked in the description for you. I am going to place my vinyl in a V shape. And of course, you guys kind of saw me fold it in half. You guys saw me wrap it around, make my little mark with a marker so that I know where to make my little cut. And now what I'm doing is I am just protecting the edges of my vinyl with painter's tape so that I can go over this with my washi tape, okay? And um, this is gonna make it a lot easier when I wanna cut the excess washi tape off, and you'll see what I mean in a second. I don't know how the heck I came up with this concept, this part of the design, this the washi tape concept of it. I just knew that I wanted to try something wacky and crazy, just like my sweet, precious bad bunny. I knew that I wanted something just crazy, you know? And I didn't want to do, I didn't want to do glitter. I don't know why, but I just wanted to do something else. I also wanted to try to avoid glitter for my first time using Hyperion because of the amount of coats that I was going to have to use. And since I'm just testing out the product, um, I decided that I did not want to use any glitter. However, I do want to let you know that as soon as I get back from TumblrCon, so the beginning of August, I will be filming a comparison video with Epoxy and Hyperion. I'm gonna be making the exact same tumbler, the exact same design. One will be Epoxy, one will be Hyperion, and I will do the comparison here on YouTube so that you guys can see how long it took me to do one versus the other, how they both look at the end, and the pros and cons. So if you're new to my channel, please hit that like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on the fun stuff I have coming. Basically what I did was I just took a whole bunch of different washi tapes that I have that I like that I felt like matched and I was almost kind of doing like a sarape but vertical I guess instead of horizontal 
and I really like how it turned out. I feel like it was very funky and playful, kind of like his personality, like my sweet Benito. Um, if he were here right now, I would tell him to come tell you guys a little bit more about his personality, but you know, he's outside right now hanging out with the dogs. But so, um, yeah, that's basically all I did. I just took washi tape and I just kind of had fun with it. I played with it. You kind of need to be careful whenever you use washi tape because sometimes it can lift under epoxy. Of course, we're not using epoxy this time. We're using Hyperion, but still uh, it can lift um, under substances. So just make sure that you really press it down and then take your, your fingernail and do what I'm doing here. I'm kind of guiding it along the edge of where the painter's tape ends. And I am just really defining that crease so that I know exactly where to run that X-Acto knife so I can remove all of the excess. I did this on both sides. Be really careful not to cut off one of your booger hooks because if you do, you're not even going to get to the part where you get to use Hyperion. So be really careful, okay? Keep your fingers, keep your fingers. And here you see me very satisfyingly is that a word i don't know if it's a word but it sounds like it should be you see me very satisfyingly peeling back that painter's tape and exposing that super straight line i freaking love this cup at first i was like girl what are you doing with all this washi tape this is crazy this looks wild this is too crazy this is too weird i don't know but now i'm like okay queen get it hype yourself up believe in yourself yes uh, snatched okay sorry what I'm doing now is I'm applying a little bit of heat with my heat gun so that I can really press down all of that vinyl and make sure that it is really adhered to that cup I want this I want this washi tape to be as stuck to my tumbler as I am to bad bunny's dms <laughs> just kidding there is a there is there is a restraining order, but I know that one day he's going to regret it and he's going to lift the restraining order and everything's going to be fine. He's just confused right now, okay? <laughs> anyway, for those of you that are new and don't know my humor, I am not kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anyway, so I am removing all of the excess now after I sliced around to remove the little edges, the little ends, 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 edges of the washi tape. I'm making sure that everything is super pressed down, super nice. And now I'm taking that heat gun and kind of hitting the entire tumbler with a little bit of heat. Because like I said, I want it to be really stuck on there. And then I'm going to go in with Helios. I, that's such a cool name, Helios. Helios. That is the, the glitter glue from Hyperion. And I like it very much. It's a very mm, runny viscosity. So I like that a lot. And I basically just kind of did a thin coat all over my tumbler. I just did this to secure the washi tape and make sure that it didn't lift under the Hyperion. Unfortunately, I think I either missed a spot or I didn't press it down hard enough because one of my stripes of washi tape did lift a teeny tiny bit but you really can't tell so it's totally fine I'm not even worried about it but you could always do two coats of glue to avoid that I only did one so um one one thing I can tell you that's different about Helios from Mod Podge is that when Helios is dry it is still a little bit tacky and sticky which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just something different from Mod Podge because Mod Podge, once it's dry, even though it's the teeniest bit sticky, you can pick it up with your hand and you can touch it and stuff like that and it doesn't feel super tacky. So that's the only difference. Um, the bottle says it takes 30 minutes to dry, but you already know I used a blow dryer. Now moving on to Hyperion. All you have to do is hold the bottle upside down and shake it really good. That's what the instructions say. The instructions also say that it could potentially cause an allergic reaction. You can wear goggles and gloves if you would like. Um, you don't have to. I didn't and I was fine. I'm very sensitive to epoxy. Epoxy makes my eyes get swollen if I don't wear PPE. So I was a little nervous. Even though I know this is a completely different product, I was a little nervous, but I was fine. So I'm really happy. Basically, what I did was I shook the bottle really, 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 really well, and then I separated out seven 
milliliters. I should have done 10 because 10 is what um, I saw on their on their social media. Their TikTok is 10 milliliters is the norm to use for each coat. But I used seven for the first coat, but every other coat after the first coat, I did 10 mLs. So basically, it's very self-explanatory. All you have to do is brush it on. So I decided to dip my brush into the Hyperion and then brush it onto the cup. But you can also do it this way, the way that I'm doing it here. I'm pouring it. After the first coat, you guys, I let it dry for two hours and I immediately came back on the two hour mark and came in with my second coat. It's recommended that you use a fine bristle brush and it's also recommended that you do not push down too hard because you can leave streaks in it. So you kind of just want to glide your brush over your tumbler and spread the Hyperion as you go, but you don't want to get into the point where you are rubbing it and leaving a super, super thin coat on the cup because it will dry streaky. You want to have a pretty generous coat on there and don't be nervous if it looks a little murky. It dries completely clear. And all I do is with my brush, I remove any excess if I see it like puddling up in areas. And that's about it. It takes me less than, honestly, less than probably 60 seconds to apply. And like I said, between each coat, I left two hours. I told my Alexa to set a timer. And as soon as that timer went off, I came right back in with the next coat. And as you can see, as I'm progressing with the coats, you can see that I'm getting a little more confident and I'm moving a little bit faster through my coats. Really, there's nothing to it, guys. Just get the product on there, spread it around. Make sure you have the entire tumbler completely coated. Do, don't forget your bottom. And if you see any separation, just pass your brush over it. I've watched um I watched a lot of the TikToks and read a lot of the information, and that's what it says to do. I didn't really see too much separation. I didn't really have that issue. It could have been because I sealed my entire tumbler with the Helios. I'm not sure, but I didn't really have separation on my tumbler. And so yeah, guys, all I'm doing here is just slowly pouring it in areas, and then using my fine bristle batty brush and just very gently spreading it around and like I said it is not recommended it's not recommended that you press down too hard because you will leave streak you know those streaks just kind of gently glide your brush over it and just kind of push that Hyperion into the areas where you need it to go and like I said see if you look at the bottom where it's kind of like puddling up just a tiny bit I just take my brush and just kind of spread that a little bit to not create a little a little lump, you know, in that area. But yeah, um, every single coat after the first one, I did 10 mLs, which I guess is not so bad since usually when I do one coat of epoxy on a cup, I do anywhere between 30 to 40 mLs. So I guess 10 mLs is not so bad. But um, after the third coat, I added a black washi, washi strip washi tape strip um, to separate the washi tape lines from the vinyl. And then I went in with their black paint and I painted the bottom of my tumbler black. That's how I wanted to finish it off. Like I mentioned before, I didn't wanna use any glitter cause I didn't wanna have to do even more coats of Hyperion. First, I wanted to test out the product and see how I liked it. So I just did that black paint on the bottom. I let it fully dry. I slapped it back on the turner and I'm immediately going back in with my fourth, fourth coat. This one's a little time lapse, but I'm repeating the exact same process. 10 mLs in a little medicine cup, my fine bristle brush, and I'm just kind of spreading it around evenly, kind of just exactly like I would with epoxy. The only difference is I'm using a brush. Two hours after that fourth coat dried, I came in with my fifth coat. As you can see, my tumbler is starting to look glass-like. It's very beautiful. You do not need to use a torch. You do not need to pop the bubbles. There's nothing that you need to do. All you do is shake the bottle very well before every single use. You pour between, mm, I would say, 8 to 10 mLs in your, in your little medicine cup, and you spread it around with your fine bristle brush. As long as you do not try to do super thin coats where you find yourself brushing over and over and over the tumbler, 
because like I said, that's going to leave streaks. Unlike crystal lac or what I've heard of crystal lac where you have to do very, very, very thin coats, Hyperion is not like that. You do not have to do a super, super thin coat. You just need to make sure that you glide it and just kind of let it, let it hang out, let it do its thing. Spread it just like you would spread epoxy. Make sure you don't forget your bottom. Don't miss any areas. Try to even it out as much as you can so it's not bulky in specific areas. And then just let it spin and walk away. Um, I really like this product, honestly. I think that the cup looks shiny. I think that it looks beautiful. Sure, it's a little more tedious because you have to do a little bit more work, but I avoid epoxying sometimes because I don't want to go outside in the heat and I don't want to put my mask on and do all of that jazz. And I feel like it was very easy to stop what I was doing, stop packing and go take two minutes to apply my coat and then walk away. I feel like even though it is a lot of coats that you have to do, it's such an easy process to apply this product that it's really not that annoying. Um, I didn't mind it. And I will definitely be continuing to use Hyperion. I My first impression is I like it. I like that it's safe. I like that I can use it in my home. I like that I can apply every two hours, that it you know dries fast. But most of all, you guys, I like that it's not toxic. I've had so many reactions from epoxy and I've made myself sick so many times that being able to have this alternative is amazing. I will never stop using epoxy, but it's nice to be able to know that I'm going to minimize my use by using Hyperion also. After this coat completely dried, I went ahead and applied a seventh and an eighth coat and I left it at eight coats. I'm pretty happy with the way that it looks. It was pretty easy to do. I did this tumbler from beginning to end in two days. Also, you clean it up just the way that you would clean up a regular epoxy tumbler. You pull it off the turner, you clean off your rim with an X-Acto knife, and that's that's about it, guys. You use a little bit of acetone on the inside, um, and you get it nice and cleaned off, and you wash it, and that's it. You just let it cure. I am super, 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 super happy with this product. I'm very shocked. I did not know that I was going to like it this much. A lot of people have talked about Crystalac, but I could not get behind having to wait four hours and having to apply such thin coats. I really like this product because it dries in two hours and you can apply pretty decent size coats. You don't have to do super thin coats. So yeah, that's my honest opinion. Like I mentioned before, this was my first time using it. I will definitely be learning more doing a lot more research, experimenting a lot more, and coming back to you guys with more tutorials so that you can, you know, make educated decisions about what products you want to use. But just from a first first impression, from someone who's only used epoxy, I'm loving this, you guys. Um, like I said, this right here is the seventh coat. I applied another coat after this one, but I figured you guys didn't need to watch me do it again. And this is the final product after eight coats. I didn't have to sand or anything like that. I had pretty even smooth coats. I'm super obsessed with it. I think it looks very glossy and shiny. Not to mention, there's not a single bubble anywhere to be found. That's a super nice touch that we don't have to pop any bubbles or do anything like that. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Besitos!